Hi, it's DIY with Fancy Nance, career talent agent turned DIY princess. Hey, it's Fancy Nance. Are you ready for some new DIY today? Well, I sure am. So, let's get started. Hmm, it's going to be glittery. So, I'm at the 99 cent store and all of this stuff that makes no sense whatsoever is all going to get painted, except for my purse, the YSL, and DIY hacked. So just wait and see, because there's a boatload of stuff in here, and it's all going to be pretty much red and gold, and some will stay silver, but it's all going to be mixed metals, and it's going to be glittery and fun. Yep, went down all the aisles. Hi, it's DIY with Fancy Nance. It's late afternoon in Los Angeles. As you know, I'm the career talent agent turned DIY princess. And today, we're gonna do another DIY project. So, uh, this is a balcony, and what I've done is put down a blue tarp. I like to explain everything very carefully instead of doing fast motion camera. And then I have leftover from when I did my videos on how to paint your bathroom gold, these painter's tarps. So I have them on the balcony layered on top, just so nothing gets sprayed anywhere and then I took old sheets of white or cardboard paper and simply just taped them together um, just really easy just so the nothing splashes basically and here we go so here's what I'm working with so far uh, plastic gloves you can find anywhere I'm working with rust-oleum glitter which you see the top is red and sparkly and I picked that up at a hardware store near me. You can get that pretty much at anywhere hard, any hardware store. And I have a red plate that is what I consider ugly from the dollar store, as I showed you. And I will show you on this video or the next one. I went to the dollar store and picked up all kinds of crazy items to DIY. So that's what we're working with right this second. You want to shake, and sorry, the video is shaking too now the can for about a minute and then do even strokes and I will show you how it looks when it goes on the plate. Less than one coat, not sure you can see all the glitter, but it's starting to sparkle. I'm going to try to spray and tape at the same time, but I do not want my iPhone 6 Plus 128i ruined in a DIY project as much as I love my viewers. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna spray a little more. It's become really sparkly now, if you can see in the camera, but I will show you when we're done. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. It's really sparkly, trust me, it is. Look at all of that glitter. Can you see how sparkly a matte plate has become with just barely two coats of glitter? Wow! So now I'm gonna spray one more coat of glitter on this plate. I will have to bring the plate inside in a little bit for you to see how sparkly it is. You, the camera um, on my phone, I need, obviously, I had one, but obviously times are changing. I need a more professional camera so you can really pick up on the glitter on these DIY videos. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to apply a coat of Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel for a protective glossy finish. So that's what I'm gonna do right now to the top of the plate. Also when you're spray painting, make sure you get the corners of the plate. So when you turn it over, you have the corners from the top already done. So I'm gonna spray right now. The top coat, that is. That should give it a good finish. So now that my plate is almost dry, I'm going to flip it over and do the other side, just in case my guests, because I'm putting this in my guest room, decide to flip it over and see that it's not finished. So I'm going to flip it and start painting and spraying again. Here we go. Okay. Now on this side, I'm not going to do as many coats because it's obviously not going to be seen as much. So I'm just going to spray lightly and coat it really well once or twice, and then let it sit for a few minutes and add the shellac top coat. So the white rim around the plate 
does not want to adhere to the spray paint. So what I could do if I were selling this plate, which I'm obviously not, I'm gonna use it as a decoration in my guest bedroom, is I could take a Sharpie red, I could take uh, black paint and make it a rim, which I might do later. I could even take some Mod Podge and some glitter and spray it around. But quite frankly, I'm not really worried about a very slim white edge showing on the bottom of a plate that I'm gonna put decorative candles on. So I'm just gonna leave it for right now and I will bring it in in a few minutes. So my plate dried red really sparkly, but possibly because it's been so windy in Los Angeles, um, there was a few tiny little bumps that were in the middle of the red plate. So I decided to repurpose again my DIY and I just took gold spray paint and did a swirl. It doesn't even matter, it's just a cool design. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm going to use it for decorative candles. Um, you really can do anything you want with spray paint. There's really no right or wrong. And um, yeah, I chose an interesting design. I may even actually do a little more on the border. Now my plate is finally dry. I added some uh, little Christmas balls that I had left over that were uh, sparkly red to it. Just to show it off, I could put candles on it. I may do some other decorative things with it. I can use it in the bathroom. I can use it in my guest room for accents. Yes, I did put some gold and there are a few little splotches. No, it's not perfect but it's supposed to look like handmade art, and that's exactly what it looks like. And I'm proud that it's kind of a cool statement piece that I made myself. And it's design, and it's DIY with Fancy Nance. So, that's the plate that I turned from the dollar store into a piece of art. Enjoy. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at F-A-N-C-I-E-N-A-N-C. -E -N -N that's Fancy Nance. It's Fancy Nance. You can find me on my YouTube channel, Banter Entertainment. So follow me and let's have some fun.